We make money from other people's money. You're going to create your own wealth from other people's wealth. And you know people that have money. You just never presented them the right idea. When I met one of my biggest investors, I had a choice to make. I met him in a restaurant. And I remember when he asked me, a super high net worth person, he's one of my mentors. When I met him in the restaurant, he asked me, so what do you do? If I would say conventional lender, he would be like, oh, it's another one. Yeah. I don't know what the hell went through my mind and I felt powerful, I was like, I'm a hard money lender. His ears was like, like a Doberman. Like, <laughs> He's like, man, hard money. I always heard about it. I never met any person doing that. I want to talk to you about it. And the whole night, we're talking about hard money. And I barely know, like my knowledge was very limited. But I always gave him answers like, you know, we're having drinks, we're having fun. You know, let's talk in the office. You know, like, I didn't have answers. I don't know what to say. I still have to learn. I still have to catch up. You know, it was back in the day. And then he, he, he did the first investment with me. So it's real. And he always invest he, in the beginning it was like two hundred thousand, two fifty, something like that. Small amount. And I was like, man, the guy's legit. You know, so let's see how much more money he has. Since then he's investing millions of dollars with me. Of course I collected a lot of investors with him, you know, to, to do other deals because we have deals like worth of a billion dollars. So it doesn't have a billion dollars, but I have other people that have hundred million, hundred million, two hundred million, fifty million. So they're all bringing the money together. It's the best for them. They don't do nothing. All right, guys. So we are going to Irvine right now to open a new branch. We're in October. Rates are high. They're getting higher you know, every day. Loan officers looking for other alternatives of what to do right now and how to originate loans in order to make money and survive. We're going to train some people. You're going to get a lot of education if you ever consider doing hard money loans and of course considering to become a lion with HML investments. I'm not sure if it's a duplex because there's a back unit but it burned. Mm -hmm. So they wanted to fix that. They're going to pay off the first and use whatever is the rest to rebuild the back. We can do hard money for that. Mm -hmm. What's the property value? 570. 570, what do they owe? They have an existing 300,000. And I think that was like a, a recent... How much do they need to rebuild ADU? About 70K, I think. So we would have to do it as a DSCR because we could get up to 75%, which would be 427 mm -hmm. on the loan amount. So less closing costs, you know, they would net about 100K cash out. The investors... Okay. They just send the loan docs right now to escrow to sign. Okay. Okay, but they had an issue. They want us to pay them extra point. They say they deserve another point. The thing is, they went back and forth. They didn't really want to do the deal in the beginning. But eventually, I convinced them to do it. Today, they're going to sign loan docs. Tomorrow or the next day, they're going to fund the deal. Let me tell you a little story about this deal. I've been holding it for two weeks five units in, cent in the South Central. I saw an opportunity because of the fact that the lady that wanted to refinance that property, she owns another property in Bell and it has a lot of equity there. What I've done is I basically cross collateralized the other property in Bell to the five units and now I'm able to use the equity that the five units had plus the equity in the Bell property to give her uh, some money to remodel the five units that she wanted. When you are a creative lender, as a hard money lender, then anything is possible. It's like my wife say, Dad, let me talk to my daughter or to my grandkid. Let, you know, let me do some homework. I'll save some money on the debt. No, we don't have that. In hard money, you deal with investors. In conventional, you have 
guidelines, requirements by this bank, this lender, you know, whatever it is, and you gotta follow that. But in hard money, it's completely different. You don't have to follow nothing. You have to follow your gut, you have to follow the equity, because the equity really, that's bottom line what it is. We don't care for credit, we don't care for income, most of the time we don't even care for appraisal. We don't care for nothing, we care for money. So let's say you come to a guy like me, you tell me, listen Yanni, I got a really good deal, it's worth a million dollars right here in Irvine, and they want half a million dollars, that's a no-brainer, 50% LTV, right? You come to a guy like me, I'll do it any day of the week. Now your job is to go and sell the points, the rates, for your favor, for my favor, so I'll be happy and you're gonna be happy. So I spoke with a broker. He says that they're actually submitted. Because right now in LA County, it takes like a year to a year and a half, at least, to get That's approved. My words exactly. It's just 60 Tell him whenever you're done, we'll work on the loan. Because I need to look at the plans, I need to look at the permits to make sure that the plans really approved, got approved, and now I can really see the future value of that specific project and now i can tell if it's going to be six million dollars or maybe it's going to be two million dollars you yeah. understand of course yeah. so tell me until it's not done there's nothing to discuss that's the way you're going to look professional with hard money lenders there's always a sucker there's always the newbie that doesn't know but he has access to money and he's willing to fund deals because he doesn't have the knowledge and other people trust him mm -hmm. i was that newbie 20 years ago but I'm not there anymore. You're not there anymore because I'm with you. So you tell him what I told you, but it's your words, not mine. And then he's gonna understand, okay, I'm with a shark. So it is what it is. Take it or leave it. If he's serious, he's gonna come back to you in like two or three months. You should just keep in touch with him for the next few months. He will come back to you because he will need the money. And money become more and more tight right now. So we have a lot of it. In our case, in HML Investments case, the way we work, we have already all the connections with family offices, with private individuals, trusted investors, and hedge funds. I don't mm -hmm. like hedge funds. Because hedge funds, they're kind of like similar to conventional, but in the hard money side. You're really going to make a lot of money if you're going to fund deals fast. And we can do that. We gotta learn to change with the change. I always say that, always, always. People ask me, how do you do this and how do you do that? I'm like, listen, I just see the change, I recognize it, and I'm changing with the change. How long does it take to fund a uh, hard money loan, like, like from beginning to end? It's a good question. There is no set date. If you have everything in line, everything in order to fund the deal the first day you get it, it really draw docs with, it takes like two or three hours. And the next day funding, and the next day recording, so it's three days. And I've done this all the time. That's where you make the most money. There's two, two types of real estate agents. There's a real estate agent that follow all the properties that in the $400,000, $500,000 range. And there's the real estate agent that follow the properties, the multi-million dollar properties, like two, three, four million, ten million. What's the difference between them two? Mindset. Are they thinking? 100%. Because if you invest the same amount of energy, money, marketing, everything in the multi-million dollar type of properties, you're gonna make that kind of money. If you're gonna go to the four hundred, five hundred thousand dollar range, you're gonna make this kind of money. Like after I learned poker, I became such a, an amazing business person. Because every move in poker, if you look at it when you when you sit with someone. He's trying to lie to you, you're trying to lie to him. But not lying, like, trying to lie for your benefit, but he's trying to lie for his benefit. You know, he's an investor, he's not a homeowner, forget about homeowners. He's gonna try to save money. Ah, oh, you know, you know, I talked to another company, they can make, get me two points, why you can get me one and a half, I'll go with you, give me 9%, 2%, 5%. And then you need to read between the lines where he lied, why he lied, who he knows. I always stay in the gray area. It's not 9% and it's not 10%. But hey, it's 9 to 10, it might be more, I'm not, I'm not sure. And then you see reactions. You play a game. I got two points from another company, can you beat that? Who's the company that gave it to you? <laughs> Give it the name right now. I always say that. Who gave it to you? Two points? I know my competition. You're entering a poker game right now. You gotta win. You, have, you gotta see how your opponent, how he bet, when he bet, what he does when he bet. 
when he pulls out, when he pulls in, when he go all in, when he go all out. You gotta learn the movements. How many deals you closed last month, uh, Johnny? It was 24. 24 deals. Let's let's say he made only two points on every deal. How many were closing this month? Hopefully. About the same or a little more. The reason why I'm asking, I'm not trying to show off, I don't for you to understand that there is business out there. There's business, you're gonna make money. You don't close 24 loans, each of you on conventional a month. No. You can tell me all the stories you want. There's no way. Top producer, he closed maybe five, six. Kansas deal. We're sitting in our Las Vegas brand. We're just sitting there, just hanging out with the people. Roman came to us and like, yeah, it's uh, 1.3 million dollars. You know, right? you can take 12% easily, no problem. And uh, you know, we can charge two, three points. I talked to her and I, I, I'm sensing things. It's all about you guys, the success is you. Eventually, I, I, I sold her nine points at a 15% rate. On a 1.3 million. There's a lot of fucking money on the table. Guys, I'm so blunt about it. Sorry about my French, but I'm, I'm, I'm a French person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a French person. Because I talked from my heart. There's a lot of hard money lenders that do it wrong. And they still make money. Imagine if you do it right. You make double the money, triple the money. I'm telling you right now, you're gonna do this next year, you're gonna be different people. If you're gonna do exactly what we say, you're gonna be different people in different place, completely. Congratulations on Irvine. I'm really happy because now you have, from what I remember, it was eight new loan officers. They're all fully licensed. They're professional. Those people, they have a lot of experience. I really like, you know, Alex, he's one of, uh, you know, the owner there, mm -hmm. and uh, the loan officers are great. We had a really good meeting. <laughs> we all really happy. Shows, but I'm really, really happy. I'm happy you're and happy. I appreciate the it. The reason you got it is because I know you're investing your time, you're putting everything you got in this, and you got it. It's like you got the talent. I know, they're eyes and we watching like it. me, so I know. That's good. And Congratulations. You. I really appreciate it. All right, yeah. that's a lioness right there. The lioness that in charge on Irvine branch, the new branch from yesterday. We're super thrilled. Raz it up.